So in my last video, I checked out the new CoinOps 2 standalone. In this video, we're going to get the official trusted arcade pack. Huh, we're going to get the official trick pack and then add it on, which is going to add Mame, Naomi, and a few others. So let's go ahead and check this out. So here we are. We now have Arcade, Arcade Classics, and let's see if they automatically subcategory. Okay, awesome, yes. So the reason why this is so awesome is um, it automatically put the subfolders in, the beat em ups, the run and gun, the fight club, the shoot em up, the racer games, sports, puzzle games. And then you have, you know, based on the publisher as well. Or as we saw when we started out, you just have the whole system. A Thomas Wave. We'll get all our Thomas Wave games, Laserdisc, Mario Kart GP, Sega Model 2, all three, Naomi, and all those arcade games. Uh, it's a huge arcade set, both light gun games, shoot 'em ups, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom, all the, you know, Cowboys of Move, uh, Mesa, you name it, all your favorites are going to be there. There's like close, you know, I wanna say it's close to a thousand. I'll get the number for you. Sure. Uh, we'll go in there. So Thomas Wade is the 25th collection, and there's eight total games here. And yes, this is only for the PC, and so a lot of people, you know, the reason why it's so not very laggy at all is because it is for PC. So laser disc, pretty cool. Um, these are going to be your Daphne games. So just seven games total. Mario Kart GP. Okay, you got the original and you have number two. Very nice. Sega Model 2. Five games. Daytona USA. Indy 500. Superbike. Sega Rally. Sky Target. And then back to Daytona. Model 3. Click in. You got three games. Daytona 2. Scud Race and Sega Rally. Now you can add your own games as well. There's lots of more games, so some light gun games for those categories. Naomi, you just have four games. And then Arcade, close to a thousand like I said, but 946. You can hit your trigger buttons here and I go up an entire letter. So as you see here, I'm going up entire letters, I'm going backwards in the alphabet, N, M, L, K, J, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, and then A. So here I have my CoinOps 2 standalone on the left side here, and if you missed my video, it comes with no ROMs at first. However, they now have these things called trusted packs. If you missed my last video, there's three types of packs, trusted, official, and unofficial. I would try to get trusted and official if you're new to the game. If you have an existing build, I showed you how to do that in my last video. I'll put a link to that playlist in order to get there. Now, over here, I've downloaded their arcade official trusted pack, which I'm really excited about because I thought it was just going to be MAME arcade games, which it is. MAME and, and CPC and all that stuff. But it also comes with a Thomas Wave, LaserDisc, Mario Kart Arcade GP, Triforce Official, Model 2, Model 3, and Naomi as well. So it's some really cool games there. All you want to do is go ahead and grab Collections and Emulators Official. You can see there, see it there, and we'll just drag that in. There are already existing file folder names. And uh, it should just ask me when this is done transferring if I wish to replace these old files, and I'll say yes. Once this is completed, all you have to do is reload CoinOps. Remember, Xbox 360 controller is great for this. Everything is pre-configured for that particular controller. And with Arcade, something to also keep in mind while you're here is that a lot of these themes as well as these actual uh, shaders will take effect, uh, or screen curvature and shaders, these will take effect on the main uh, games so for those of you that like to play old our school games with a crt kind of look or kind of you know shader look a lot of pixelated 
but nice bright pixels. You can mess with these settings here and get the best experience you can for those arc classic arcade games. So again, once it's done, we're just going to double click into coin ops. So why don't we just check these games out, I'll talk a little bit, see how far I get. Now, um, this pack, I think it was like close to 20 gigabytes, I'll have to check again. And then the base image is around 10 gigabytes before you unzip it. So I think after you zip it, you might gain another 5 or 10 gigabytes between these two packs. You know, the two packs I'm talking about is the standalone CoinOps 2 pack, which is 10 gigabyte download, and then this arcade pack. Just a reminder on this arcade pack, it's giving you all the things I've mentioned so far, which is the main, the Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3, and the Naomi, a Thomas Wave, and Laser Disc. Now, you can obviously, from what I've seen so far, it's a really large main collection, and it's just a select few games from those other systems. Naomi and a Thomas Wave have many more titles, but those games are really large. Um, and some of the games are like shooter games, like Buck Hunt, for example, where I only think there's going to be a select few people who are going to want Buck Hunt. Now, in the main games, these are much smaller games. A lot of these games are 5 megabytes or less, so you can absolutely add some games. Now, it looks like within the arcade collection, they are actually including um, the Sega Model 1 and 2. Yeah, so the arcade set... Oh, so it is 900... This is good that I saw that. That... It is, looks like it is 946 games, including a Thomas Wave, including, you know, the others. So, as far as actual main games, it's actually closer to 900. So, as I was saying, this pack has limited ROMs for those other systems. Um, the other thing is, in here is, I think I'm seeing some Neo Geo games as well that are thrown in here as well. So this is kind of a large arcade collection. Back to my computer and what I'm running this on. I have a gaming laptop. It's running a 9th gen i7 processor. Um, you know, it's around a thousand dollar laptop now, $1,100,000 for a GTX 2060 and a new i7. It is running an SSD hard drive but that shouldn't make a huge difference in the performance. So it does have Marvel vs. Capcom Boss Edition and regular, as well as the Marvel Superheroes. I mentioned the computer. Um, do note that this thing has very minimal requirements. If you have like an i5 processor, you can run all these games no problem. Especially if you have like a dedicated graphics card like a 1030 or a 1050 or better. If you have anything within the last couple of years, it's going to run this just fine. You're going to be just good. Um, some of the other comments I've seen, besides asking me what my uh, system specs are, are, can this work on other devices? And the answer is, uh, you'd have to port it over, not as is. Because most of these files are using Windows. I showed you kind of the, the .bat files, and those are how you change your shaders and things. It's all configured for a PC. That's not to say that somebody can't pour it out and use it on something else. The other question I get a lot is why get this versus Hyperspin versus LaunchBox? And uh, it's just another flavor, okay? Spice, it's the, you know, spice is the flavor of life or, you know, spice is the uniqueness of life. <laughs> you know, and so it does have all the Street Fighters, you know, even EX2 and EX1, even the movie. It has all the, um, oh, it even has the four player Sunset Riders, that's cool. Um, you know, but I, I think this is really cool. I, I mentioned this in the last video that it even has the four player Ninja Turtle games, nice. I'm sure it has the Simpsons as well. This is by far one of the hardest versions of Tetris, by the way. Um, where's the Simpsons? The Simpsons, they should just have the four player version of it. Maybe Simpsons is under S. Let's just make sure we got the Simpsons. Great game, by the way. Sailor Moon's on here. I'm sure I just missed it. There it is. Yeah, so you have the two-player and the four-player. But I guess he uses the same video snap. Okay, so I, we were almost done. We were on, like, W. Oh, 
So I just switched over to favorites, and then I just accidentally launched a game. So to exit a game, it's just start select to get out. You'll notice here there's bezels. So as far as like, so I'm in favorites right now, so I want to go ahead and go back to all. Okay. And then we'll go back to W. So it has WrestleMania, Water Skis, Le Mans, X-Men, X-Men or Street Fighter, and Z. So those are your games. Now let's start with a, a shoot em up, for example. And let's go ahead and just pick a random one. I'm just gonna stop the wheel and hit enter. All right, Thunder Dragon. You have that cool little animation there that pops up. You have vertical games pre-configured with the bezel. And as you see here, I got some pretty nice shaders on here. And it looks like the screen is curved. I have the curvature shader on. Okay, so um, it loads and unloads really fast. So let's try a different one. Let's try a racing game now. I really like these categories because it really breaks it down really nice. Um, I usually play Ridge Racer. Let's go ahead and play like a Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3 game. Okay, where's this? Okay, so those. This is only main. It's only going to sort your main game. So if I want to play the racing game, I either have to find it in arcade or go over to Sega Model 2, which I'm totally fine with. Let's go ahead and try. Let's try it. So this is a much harder emulator. You know, as you see there, it loads the emulator up. And, uh, select a race screen. Gentlemen, it's your start your, your engine. And they're underway. The vibration does for this game as well. It's a little gimmicky because you're supposed to have a steering wheel. But, uh, since it's a little twitchy, it might be fun. If you hold the analog stick down, though, it will be fun. You have to hold it down, right? So start select takes you out. Let's go ahead and do a Naomi game. Pidgey Taxi has a lot of um, copyrighted music, so we'll go with Power Stone, a classic. You know, this stuff will run on the Raspberry Pi, to give you an idea, which has a shared graphics card CPU combo. So like I said, if you have an i5 and a dedicated graphics card, you can run this stuff just fine. Um, something I mentioned in the last video was that you can, uh, you know, you can run coin ops to automatically boot. What you want to do is within that directory, the standalone, there's a there's a there's a little box there ready? with a script. Oh, oh there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's not good. Got him. Okay, Naomi's working good. So, model three, model two. Oh, I thought I locked on.
right, and we're back. So there you have it. We um, showed you all the different collections here that come with this official pack. Pretty cool pack, great pack to get you going. Um, there's plenty of games here to keep you occupied for a really long time. I would definitely consider just getting the standalone in the arcade pack and then calling it a day, especially if you just want like a really basic arcade build. But I know a lot of you aren't okay with basic, so you're probably going to build onto it as well. Uh, remember, you can always add on to this, you know, add more ROMs, add more games, all sorts of things. This is all arcade games. That's why I'm on this particular menu icon. But remember, you can add your consoles with analogs, your D-pad consoles, your computer-based uh, games, your, you know, portable-based games. Um, this thing really can hold a lot. Um, another comment was that, oh, this thing doesn't allow for, um, are these the only system it allows for? And absolutely not. I mean, this, you know, PlayStation 3 is pretty up there, but like, for example, what is this missing? It's missing like uh, Wii U, for example. Um, you can absolutely, and I don't know if these, this artwork already exists or not, but you could just go ahead and uh, add the artwork in and, and, and customize your own, um, you know, menu system. You even have MS-DOS mouse games versus joystick games. Nice little thing there. Um, and then, yes, you can remove menu items as well, hide them, things like that, or, you know, do some other things if you want to get into some advanced customization. So that's about it for this pack. Really cool. I think that, you know, um, as we saw when CoinOps 2 was first kind of coming out, we had a couple of, like, you know, builds that kind of had exactly what this one has, minus, you know, Sega Model 2 and stuff. So it's cool that we have an official pack with a few extra games, like that Mario Kart game I thought was really cool, and then having the Model 2, Model 3 emulator already ready for you, so you can just go ahead and drag and drop the ROMs now, is going to be really nice, especially with some of those um, default settings already set up for you to what's going to work on a lot of computers. You still might have to mess with those settings, though, um, especially like with sound glitches and video glitches, as that's just part of the fun in emulating arcade games. So with all that said, two thumbs up. That's what I think. Let me know all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.